What's up YouTube? This is Bade here with another black and white battle and this time against uh, someone by the name of Kevin. I do not know if this person has a YouTube account or not. But uh, yeah, this was just a random battle on Skype. Underused uh, tier match again with the new broken Smogon UU tiers that uh, are based on usage. So uh, you know the drill. Although most of you don't and somebody is going to leave a comment about Cure and friends again. But uh, anyways, I'm rambling. Uh, we lead off with uh, Donovan and Gigalith. And uh, I'm just gonna set up my rocks. He actually goes with the stone edge. I really don't know why. I guess the only reason why he would do that is just to break my uh, sturdy body. But uh, I don't know. So I go with, go with the EQ here because I can break his sturdy and do a massive amount of damage. And he he actually decides to set up his rocks now. And um, it turns out he has lefties, which is cool. No illegal custom barrier or anything. And I'm just gonna go with the uh, rapid spin just to get rid of his rocks. And he's gonna explode. So um, he just pretty much uh, wasted his lead because I. Spin away his, uh, spoon away his rocks, and uh, this explosion, of course, failed to KO me because explosion sucks in fifth gen. So uh, yeah, this is why you don't run explosion. So he does bring me down low enough where uh, the sharpedo will KO me, but you know that's cool because I got off my rocks, I spoon away his rocks, so you know that's cool. And here I'm gonna send out my cure him. Because Kyorem is so broken and underused, it is such a be beast. But uh, I knew that I could take pretty much anything from that uh, Sharpedo could uh, throw at me. And he just goes with the EQ, I guess that's his best option against me. And I'm just gonna go with the Ice Beam and that will actually KO him because Sharpedo is so frail. So, Kyorem, you actually did something in this match. Yay! Good for you. Bye. Bye! There goes Kyurem once again, and uh, in comes Registeel, I figured the first thing he's gonna do is either T-Wave or, in this case, Iron Head me, so... Yeah, I just switched into my Victini. I'm not gonna bother to set up my Trick Room just yet, because I do wanna uh, scout his team a bit, see what kind of uh, sets he's uh, running, and uh, I'm just gonna go with the We Create to the face, and Registeel Regis goes down, and now he goes into his uh, Zapdos, and I was just thinking he's gonna take uh, advantage of my uh, defense drops and go with the T ball or something, so I switch into my uh, own Zapdos here. But uh, uh, it turns out he's uh, some sort of uh, toxic staller, obviously. But uh, it's cool, my own Zapdos is a toxic staller as well. And uh, wow, he is going to use Sky Drop, and uh, that is just absolutely hilarious, because. Uh, my Zapdos is a Sky Drop user as well, and here I'm gonna go with a Toxic, you know, just to get him Toxic as well, because he is a Staller, obviously. And uh, it is just so funny that uh, it has been like half a year, seriously, since I last used the Zapdos. I don't think I've used it after that. Uh, I used it like when Black and White came out in two 2010 back in Japan. Like a few months after that, I used it, and because uh, it didn't really work out in that current meta game, it didn't really work out in OU because uh, there are so many steel types. So I pretty much stopped using it. But now that UU is out, I decided to try it out again. And look what we have here: my opponent has exactly the same set uh, that I'm using. So wow! But uh, yeah, a bunch of uh, sky drops just happened. Uh, not much else going on, and. Uh, do I go down this turn already? Yes. Cool. So I just rambled over a bunch of stalls. So we're cool. We're cool. So it's time to send out a uh, Wikitini. And uh, he kind of makes a misplay and just goes with the roost. But I guess that was his best option. But either way, I'm going to take advantage of this. And I am going to set up my trick room. And it is time to... Yes. Now it is time to recreate pretty much... To the face, there we go, and uh, there's no way Zapdos is going to take this hit, because Wiktini is broken in UU, and uh, you know, eventually it will move up to uh, OU, but you know, 
we create has been out for such a short time period of time so uh, yeah that's why we see is UU but uh, you know eventually it'll move up thanks to usage so uh, in comes Tangela and uh, thanks to my speed drop I am going to be faster in trick room I and uh, I even get a crit wow that was a total overkill so uh, down goes the uh, Tangela get a bit of life orb and I I think this is his last guy and it's a sorry shard, shard or whatever. Sorry shard. Don't you English? No. And a fusion bolt to the face and uh, down goes the sorry shard and uh, that will be the game. I have no idea why I can't pronounce sorry shard. Wow, that's so random. But anyways, uh, that was the game for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this match. Uh, more battles to come. Uh, I'm gonna probably put another walkthrough episode up tomorrow, and then Saturday I'm going to upload that uh, live narration that I talked about on Monday, I think. So that's gonna be fun times, and uh, uh, until then, uh, spade is out. Peace. See ya.